Hey guys, and welcome back to Vlogs and Frogs. My name is Ryan Peterson, for those of you who don't know, and today we're out here in the darkness of night at McNeely Lake Park to get up close with a really cool critter. And it's actually in this container, but there's actually a bunch of them. But first, if you have arachnophobia or the fear of spiders, bye. Okay, now if you stuck around, in here I have the harvestman spider. Look at all of them. Now, the cool, the weird and I guess cool thing is also that these things are not actually true spiders. They're also known as the daddy long leg. Now, they're not true spiders because they don't actually have like real venom glands and they also can't spin silk like normal spiders can. Wow, they're actually in a special group that I'm blinking on the name right now, which are closely related to spiders, but not true spiders. And look, there's still one hanging out in here and the rest are crawling all over me. I can feel them on my back and yeah. So today we're gonna learn all about these cuties. Look at them. Ah! So although you have probably heard the tall tale of daddy long legs are the most poisonous spider, they just can't bite humans. This is in fact false in more ways than one. If the toxin is injected by a bite or a sting, then it's venom. So it would be venomous. It's poison if you ingest the toxin. Also, they can't even produce venom, so don't worry, you're totally safe. Probably. Anyways, these guys have small round bodies with eight very long and really thin legs. Like ticks and mites, these spiders have evolved a tight connection between their two body segments. So their whole body is one round unit. And I do mean two body segments, not three. Spiders have a cephalothorax and an abdomen. A cephalothorax is a fused head and thorax, thus making it one part instead of two separate parts. Their typical body length is about 5 sixths of, five sixteenth of an inch. However, with the harvestman's leg span, they can exceed over 6 inches. Sometimes, there are tiny yellow, orange, or red blobs stuck on the body or legs. These are mites parasitizing the harvestman. Like humans, harvestmen have only one pair of eyes on the front of the cephalothorax. Harvestmen have only one pair of eyes. On the front of the cephalothorax is their mouth. And on each side, they have short appendages called pedipalps, in which they use to hold their food while they eat. Now, these cute little crawly spider things can be found all around the world. There have been over 6,650 species of harvestmen discovered worldwide. The species grow mostly diverse in tropical Southeast Asia and South America, but you can find species of harvestmen spiders everywhere in the world, even in many colder regions. They can be found as they explore a variety of habitats, often among leaf litter on the forest floor or on the bark of trees. They are mostly nocturnal, but many are active in the daylight. It just depends on their mood. Now when it comes to food, harvestmen are omnivores, eating a variety of organic material or scavengers, feeding on feces or carrion, which is dead animal matter. But some are predatory on a variety of small insects. Unlike spiders, they do not eat via straw-like sucking of liquids. Instead, they ingest small chunks of solid material. While most spiders envenomate their prey, and their venom actually breaks down the insides into a liquid so they can literally just drink their prey like a slushy. Think about that while you sleep. They often feed at night. Their vision is generally poor and they use the second pair of legs, which is usually the longest, as like feelers as they walk around. Kind of like a blind person tapping a cane. Isn't that a cool adaptation? Another one is when in fight with a predator and they lose their legs, the leg will twitch to distract the predator while they escape. They can also emit a foul smelling and tasting odor when threatened to avoid being eaten. Harvestmen will also actually play dead like a possum sometimes. Gotcha, Goofy. As they grow up, they molt their skin, kind of like changing clothes, if those clothes were your skin. After hatching, a harvest grows through usually about six molts before maturity. Males and females mate directly instead of passing a, instead of passing a sperm sac from male to female, which most spiders do. Although it is usually the females that defend the fertilized eggs, in some species, the males do so. Depending on species and temperature, the eggs can hatch within a month or can take up to six months to hatch. Some species reproduce without males. We love independent non-spider women who don't need no man. Well, that's the end of this tale, guys. So, I hope you enjoyed, and I hope you learned a lot. Remember to get outside and explore the world, because it's beautiful. Now, go be free before my army of harvestmen attack you. <laughs> we will take over the world. Okay, anyways, bye guys, love you. Yee!